Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. So did you hear about the new release of Angular which is Angular 9.0.0? If not, then please watch this video till end. So let's get started. The new release 9.0.0 is released two days back that is on 7th of Feb of this year and now this topic will be the hot topic for all the interviews in 2020. So let's deep dive into all the new features and enhancements done for this new release. This topic might contain some heavy terminologies for you guys but I will try to keep it as simple as possible by making it interactive and animations driven. So. Let's see into the first step on how can you actually upgrade your Angular application to version 9. So these steps includes the first and foremost step is to upgrade to version 9 and you can do that version 8 first and you can do that by following command ng update at the rate angular slash cli at the rate 8. So what is this 8? This 8 is nothing but the version that is angular 8. And with a space, you can write either Angular Core at the rate 8. Once you can upgrade, you have upgraded everything to Angular 8. Now you have compatibility to uh, upgrade to Angular 9. So now to update to Angular 9, you have a simple command ng update at the rate Angular slash CLI space at the rate Angular slash Core. So can you see there is no at the rate 9 here? Why? Because they com uh, the compiler automatically understands this that they want it to be the latest version to be picked. So it does not require any version definition explicitly. It will pick the latest one that is version 9 automatically. And these uh, like using these two commands, you can actually ship your Angular app to version 9, which is the latest one. Now you can actually do that, but there's, there, you will face some challenges for sure while doing that. So there are some warnings for you when you upgrade to your Angular application to version 9. The very first warning is that you should make sure that you have node 10.13 or higher version only. The second warning is that your project will now have a TypeScript 3.7 version being supported, which will have a new compile time check and errors which can cause your code to break. So first of all, you need to fix all of those code breakings so that you can upgrade easily to version 9. So make sure that you fix all of them because now the TypeScript version is upgraded to 3.7. The third point you have to keep in mind is that if your project depends on other Angular libraries, update them also to the latest version and the command you can use to update those external libraries is using NP ng update or npm run ng update command. The third and the last warning I want to give you is that if your app has some Angular internal internationalization, that is I18N dependencies, and you depend on Angular to provide that internationalization to your application, then Angular 9, Angular 9 has introduced new globalized function which actually supports I18N. So now this is a required dependency and you have to run the following command so that that uh, internationalization support continues to be provided in your Angular app. So that command is ng add at the rate angular slash localize. So that's all about the warnings I want to give. If you have few more issues, please tell me in the comment section and I'll be, I'll be very happy to help you for that. So let's get started. So there are new features which were introduced in Angular 9. So the hero of that feature is IV. So what is IV? This is nothing but a rendering engine. So the current rendering engine before version 9 or version 8 is now completely rewritten with new enhanced version and that new enhanced version of rendering engine is IV. So what is rendering engine? You might f f like find whenever you try to Google it out or when you try to find, you will always find that this is a new rendering engine. This is a new rendering engine. So what do you actually mean by rendering engine? Rendering engine is nothing but a combination of compilation, runtime and change detection. So what are these three steps? Compilation, runtime and change detection. So whenever you write some code in TypeScript, so whatever you write in TypeScript is what you write but browser does not understand what browser understand is javascript correct 
so whenever you try to run this type script browser doesn't understand but browser understand javascript so who will convert your code which you write and you understand into the code what browser understands so this is the work of compiler here so what compiler does compiler converts your code you write that is type script into something what browser understand that is javascript so version 9 actually changed this compiler itself and this compiler was initially used was jit that is just in time compiler and they have changed it to iot that is ahead of time compiler so why they brought iv they brought iv to make your compilation time faster so that you can run your code and see your results really fast on the browsers when your application is small you don't find the differences much but as soon as you start growing into more complex applications you can find that angular actually gets behind of many other new technologies say react js but this is where uh, they have made a change so as to keep pace with the current world this is the very new feature iv for you so let's first understand that how compiler works so basically compiler works with two different ways the first is jit and the second is aot jit was just in time compiler which was used before angular uh, 9 was introduced and aot is now a very new version of compilation and rendering or runtime by iv that is a render engine so let's get into jit first so that you can understand aot better which is a new feature of iv so jit is something where the compilation process was before version 9 was introduced so what 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 was there in your code actually in your code you have two things the type script code what you write and some angular decorators say for example it did component decorators the rate service and all so whatever type script code you write gets converted into javascript as soon as you run the jit compiler or the type script compiler but but the decorators that you create here remains as is it is in the main.js bundle so on the browser what goes this type script converted into javascript which browser happily understands and renders on your browser what you see but the angular decorators remains as it is and which is difficult for browser to understand so when these decorators are actually executed on browsers at that time that is on the run time they actually again calls this jit or typescript compiler so that they can understand these and they can create the javascript code for these angular decorators so can you see here this jit compiler is used twice one here to convert your typescript to javascript and second here to convert your decorators to the javascript code or uh, the language which is understandable by browsers at run time so this was jit compilation now let's see what what is reduced here which is very good in aot so aot is nothing but a compilation process after version 9 was introduced so the same thing there was a typescript code there is an angular decorator now there is a new compiler aot compiler this aot compiler is also called as angular compiler which is nothing but a compiler made on typescript compiler but few additional steps added to this compiler so as to enhance your speed or it is also called as ngc so you can find these three terminologies being used by interviewers to confuse you but don't get panicked all the three aot compiler angular compiler ngc are nothing but a new compiler being added to the iv rendering engine so as to make your compilation rendering and transcription very fast so what it does it does nothing but converts your typescript code into javascript code so you will say this was done earlier also what's new but the new thing is that angular decorators are now converted into the javascript code at run, at the compile time itself it does not wait for run time that is being executed in browser and then it calls the compiler and then it gets into the javascript code it pre compiles here only and thus the call at the run time is saved 
so can you see there's there was one more st one more step here when they used to get rendered onto the browsers and then they used to be shown on the uh, ui for you so that step is now reduced and that is why aot is much more faster than jit so that was all about the jit and I aot but there are many more features like change detection and others are, which are newly introduced or are changed in version 9. So I will discuss those in the later videos soon. So stay tuned for the same. Thank you.